so we're about halfway through our Asia travel trip, which in traveler's terms means it's laundry time. Now there are various ways that I've done laundries on my travel. Uh, a lot of times it's in the sink, uh, in the bathtub. I've taken it to laundry mats. I've done laundries at the hotel or hostel or accommodation that we're staying at. But today I'm gonna to be trying out two products that are like a different way of doing laundry on the road. Okay, so our first product is the Scrubba wash bag. It is a flexible internal wash bag. So it looks like you use it in like, I guess outdoors, camping scenarios. Oh, and then hotel, that's where we are right now. You can use it anywhere, realistically, anywhere you need clean clothes. So there are instructions on the back, so let's see what it says. First thing we do is we fill the bag with our items of laundry, then we roll it and clip it in, we deflate it, we rub it for 30 seconds to three minutes, then we rinse it and hang it to dry. Means pretty standard laundry steps. I feel like I got this struggling here. I don't think I can nicely open this bag. Okay, so here we go. Open it up. Oh, it's a clip. Whoa, all right. Wow, that is quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, and they have like, okay, so if you look on the inside of this bag, there's actually like little rubber, I guess, knobs. So that's gonna do the scrubbing. Three different piles of clothes that I'm testing this out on. The first is some delicates, so we got some underwear. Then we have some t-shirts, and then I wanted to test out something with a little bit like harder material, so like I've got a pair of shorts here. Oh yeah, there's like lots of room here. So I have the suds, so this is just a little package of laundry detergent, and we're gonna head to the bathroom, we're gonna put some water in here. Okay, so small load, big load. I'm guessing that's where we fill it to water. Ah, it needs to get more into the bag. I'm gonna say this is like the smaller load. <gasps> Bathtub would definitely be better than the sink. The sink was really awkward actually. Just gonna squeeze that in there. Okay, roll and clip, roll and clip. Rolling. Oh yeah, definitely to there because there's like a little, the knobs there. Okay, what's the next step? Deflate. Ah! 30 seconds to three minutes. Let's rub. Ooh, we get some sud action. Look at this sud action happening. How dirty are my clothes? I feel like I need to rotate it because it's getting like, the scrubber is only scrubbing like half of my clothes. Okay, so you can see we do have some dirty water here. So it has actually been scrubbing or like at least the laundry detergent has been working. It's been picking up the dirt. It's rinse time. What did it say? Yeah, it just says rinse. Ooh. Ah! Let me make sure I'm rinsing properly. I feel like my clothes are soaking wet. Some roll technique going on here. So my clothes are now washed. And now hopefully. it's time, hopefully. And now it's time to try out our second travel product, which is inflatable hangers. That's right. Now, if you aren't staying at a hotel, like we are, or don't have one of these drying racks, um, don't mind the packaging. It kind of got a little bit destroyed in our luggage, but that's okay because hopefully the hanger part is still intact. All right, so that's what one of them looks like. Oh, whoa, this is like a big, that's like, okay, we got a little valve, so it's time to blow. All right. Matt? What the frick? It's gonna have big strong lips like I do. Our inflatable hangers are inflated. I'm just gonna temporarily put these right here. Okay, so. Now I'm out of hangers, so I'm just gonna hang up the rest of it on this rack. So I'm gonna let that dry off for the day and we'll either check back tomorrow or maybe even tonight, depending on if that's dry by then. All right guys, so it's been 24 hours. Our clothes are dry. Let's check in on them and see how well the scrub washed. So first off, we have the shirt. 
It looks clean, but there's only one true way to tell if it is clean, and that's the sniff test. Smelling cleaner than it was. So I would say it did like a pretty decent job of cleaning it. It smells like outside, so I guess that's clean. Oh yeah, those are smelling nice and clean. And uh, well, I'm not gonna smell my underwear, but I think you guys get the general drift. So did it clean? Did it do its job? Yes, it did. My clothes are clean. They are good to go. Would I actually bring this with me on my travels? Would I use this on my travels? Not most of them. No, probably not. When you're staying at like a hotel or a hostel or any other accommodation, you generally have access to a sink and I feel like you can do just as good of a job washing in the sink than you can with this bag. So in my opinion, it's kind of an unnecessary item if you're just gonna be washing your clothes in the sink anyway. But when it comes to camping and camping trips, this would be really, really handy because you don't have access to a sink and you don't really have anywhere else to wash your clothes. So like bathing suits or even towels or, or beach wear, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, yes. Or other camping, like it doesn't have to be beach camping. We're just in a really hot place right now. So that's what I'm thinking about. But like hiking or like if you're going camping, even the back country or stuff, this would be super, super handy. So I do see the use for it in those cases. Um, so now when it comes to the hangers, did they hang? Yes, they did. They, they hung the clothes and worked as a hanger. Would I actually bring this with me on my travels? Again, probably not. There are generally enough surfaces in your everyday surrounding that you can hang your stuff on and that work perfectly fine. You don't have to pack an extra item on. But I do see this being handy for certain people in certain scenarios. Like if you're a business traveler or like if you have lots of suits or something, but in everyday travel, I would say no, I'm probably not bringing that with me. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed these reviews. If you wanted to see more like travel product reviews, let me know down below in the comments. And also let me know if you have any links to travel products you specifically would like me to try out. Um, it's always super fun just testing these. So links down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. And uh, see you guys again soon in a few days time with another video. Bye.